anaerobic capacity in a combat setting. So this is the maximal threshold adenosine triphosphate and creatine phosphate can be produced without oxygen. Your anaerobic capacity is generally reached by doing bouts of sustained moderate to high intensity work from zero to two minutes in duration. In combat, an effective offense requires a combination of fast, powerful, and accurate strikes to be performed until the opponent yields or literally dies. Multiple and repeated efforts are usually required to reach this point. Strength and power endurance are two performance characteristics that sit under the anaerobic pathway due to the high degree of muscular contraction that they require. In combat, the ability to sustain attacks with a high degree of weapon control is desirable. Having the capacity to attack quickly and in succession can overwhelm your opponent. Longer weapons come with a host of advantages, however their disadvantage is their longer moment arms. They require more force to control than shorter weapons. Having higher strength and power endurance to your opponent gives you more effective control of the weapon. The anaerobic pathway can be trained through successive bouts of high intensity exercise. Adaption can include an increase in creatine phosphate storage and improvements in pH buffering, allowing you to sustain activity in an acidic muscular environment. Overall, just remember to crush your enemies and listen to the lamentation of the women.